Hello, everybody, and welcome back to the Games Done Quick Hot Fix. This is PV Precipice, a show about uh, doing re or no reset runs, going for that PB or world record. Uh, we are going to have Dark Souls 2, a uh, scholar of the first sin today. Before we get into that, just a quick reminder SGDQ 2023 is coming up May 28th to June 4th in Minneapolis, Minnesota. If you're interested in attending the event, registration is open now until May 3rd. You can go to gamesdonequick.com for more information. Uh, with all that said, uh, I've got Nick here. Uh, he's ready to do some runs. How are you doing, Nick? Hey, uh, thank you so much for the introduction. Yeah, uh, it's me, Nick Sayo. Uh, I'll be doing some grind for uh, any person restricted. Uh, this is my first category in speedrun. Doing uh, this is a category that I love, that I have a respect for it. It's currently have a uh, some nice strats, some risky ones, and uh, I will be here sharing with you guys uh, some of it. Uh, thanks so much, Church, for the introduction. And um, are you ready to go? Yep, whenever you're ready. Okay, so I'll be starting uh, the attempts. <clears throat> So I will uh, introduce you guys to some of like uh, some of things about Dark Souls. Sure. First of all, uh, on the top left screen of my game, you may see a sixty. This is uh, for Dark Souls. Sure, we need to use in a software to rule our FPS. Uh, in restricted categories, I'm only allowed to play the game capped in six FPS. Because uh, below 60 and over 60, some means may occur. Like if you have below 60 FPS playing like 20 FPS or something, um, your your physics may vary a bit. So you could like jump across things that you are not able to usually. And if you go over 60, your game is basically in the speed up. So that's why we have the our game Captain 60. Is the sequel of Dark, to Dark Souls one? Mm, I don't know. It follows the same lore. Basically, you have a uh, four main bosses. You have a uh, you have a final boss, and you have the the, the same uh, things. But if you if you remove all the lore, Dark Souls two could be just like an RPG game. Are you? So yeah, first I talk to Emerald Herald to get the Estus Flask and move her. I get the Medulla Bonfire, which is um, basically the, the first bonfire. And here I will do some menuings, use a soul. Take a look at the mine. Yeah, let me do this right now. Let's see. Yeah, I guess this will be better, guys. Let me know. I fully don't hear anything, so I am unsure. Yeah, I don't know. People were like blaming about. I, I I see it. I have no idea. I, I I never heard anything besides your voice, so I'm unsure. Yeah. Okay. Um. So this category uses a glitch. It's not fully glitchless. It uses a glitch called Seventeen K. Seventeen K is I would kill a boss in a frame perfect way. And um, I could tell you guys the, basically how it was discovered, but um, 17, uh, previously we have a glitch called Pursuer Quick Kill. Um, you may see it in the internet and dies or videos like the one uh, you fight Pursuer in a plateau and um, you have a way to like trigger the fight and go sitting at the bonfire and this um, this kills the boss and you get the item. But one day, the speedrunner Pseudo Stripey was doing attempts with it 
and he got 17k souls and uh, um, people start to look at at the, at the glitch and um, they realize it was like due to a frame per the bird would, the bird would drop pursuer at the at the arena and this would cause you to gain the 17k souls so currently the strat is much simpler than a frame perfect trick but um Uh, I'm sorry guys, it's the, my controller that it's uh, getting uh, this noise. It's I'm playing controller and I'm playing keyboard. This is a good old ASMR speedrun, you know. Yeah, let's see what I can do. I will put the mic a little bit closer to my voice and the controller before. I hope this uh, helps move it. No binoculars, unfortunately. Having the, the bino boost is... Doing bino boost is a really... Uh, not... Uh, old patch. In old patch, you use binoculars. You have a bino boost, which is like having your character with like five times speed for a short period of time. And uh, that's why I do love binos. But um, yeah, not much use in this category. <laughs> yeah, after I will probably miss the set the first seventeen K, so I, I could try to do I will I will I will add the the noise reduction, guys. I'm sorry. We're, we're, we're working on it. So, hold on. Yeah, okay. Let me know. Yeah. Oh. If uh, if that enemy had hit earlier, would that have interrupted your door opening? Uh, unf like it could. Never happened, but it could. Uh, Dark Souls Two, you have you have late eye frames when traversing um, doors so but this door and specifically have like a super wide eye frame range oh i got it yeah this is 17k focus on the run thank you so much yeah so i have 17k souls and um now i will buy the key for the, the shop and i will basically start the run right now um that was all the preparation <clears throat> and I have the Ring of Blades, I have the Soul Pursuer, it's everything that I got from the... from this glitch. This will be enough, so I will buy the Cat Ring, and um... Cat Ring, Six, Bone, or school. And I'll be doing the Medulla drop, which is. Bootstrap. Grab an extra homeward bone. <laughs> yeah, so. Is that the intended way to go down? Nah, it's not the intended way, but. For sure, it's like, uh, it's basically the fastest way. There is a glitch called yeah. Catering Skip, where you, it's it's similar to what we have in, uh, to what we have in Elden Ring. You bury an enemy and repost during the, when he's falling and you drop to the lowest floor of the thing without taking fall damage. Um, we have this thing in Dark Souls 2 as well, but uh, it's not fast. So we don't do it. Okay. But yeah, this one was a sick drop. I love the drop. It looked really cool. <laughs> yeah. Hey guys, 
smoke for everybody. So there is a jump that usually saves 8 seconds here. It's called Jeff Jump. But um, I would try to do, like, the first attempt, still doing some warm up like things. So I will really do it, like, when I feel confident about. Yeah, okay. So here is uh, Black Coach. And this Black Coach. Oh, I didn't buy the. I didn't buy firebombs. Yeah, this is. <clears throat> yeah, I'll try to fight the giants with all firebombs, but I completely missed those during the, the shop. I assume firebombs are just a very high DPS item. Yeah, compared to like yeah. nothing, um, firebombs would do more damage than my, than just like the the hand axe attack. But there isn't. Wait, did I skip? No, I didn't skip that vision. So here I need to do some shady, shady things. I need to hit this dude, and he will. Rock. And yeah, but that's okay. I missed the firebombs, I would need to reset anyway. Um, okay, I guess it will do uh, the noise quality right now. <clears throat> yeah, because I missed the firebombs, I couldn't kill the giants anyway, so. Thank you so much guys for the good luck. I appreciate it. All people. Uh so the name of the character, does that affect anything? Like, I know in some games you, you set up a specific name to affect things. Is it matter? I, I, I assume one character because it's fast, but... Mm -hmm. Yeah, it is one character long because it's faster. And doesn't actually matter in front patch. In old patch, if you... I know it will sound like something that... Oh, why nobody thought about it. But if you hold... Uh, if you name your character W at the in the old patch, your character will actually move during the character creation. So in old patch, you should name your character W or whatever is forward in your um, in your keyboard. But um, in current patch, it doesn't matter. I name it E because it's um, it's close to my hand. I could name it whatever; it doesn't matter. But um, one thing that is like about Dark Souls 2 is that you cannot um, customize your character, so basically it will always be this, uh, this long period. Okay. I, I do love the, the W name moving you forward, that's actually hilarious. Yeah, it is, and it's it's funny because, like, uh, I I tried uh, I only started to run like old batch is um, is it's basically a subgroup of Dark Souls 2 speedruns because old batch is basically like the the, the roots of Dark Souls 2 speedrun. So uh, in old batch you had we all we all knew about the W strat, but um, me.
only move my character forwards, but I move my character all the way to the door. And people are like, wait, how are you doing that? Because, like, can you move it this long during the black screen? And, uh, and that's why uh, I have, like, E to forward and L to left. So I control my character in a way that it stops at the at the door. So it was like it was okay. super uh, it was super dope. Yeah, yeah, that that sounds like a really cool strat. Yeah. Okay, second attempt of okay. So, I didn't talk about this trick, it's called Bomb Wall. Basically, on the other side of this wall, there are some uh, barrels. And what I'm doing, uh, I'm hitting the hitbox of the barrels with the hitbox of the firebomb. And this caused the barrels to explode. I don't know if it's intended or not. Another 17k, let's go. Heck yeah! Yeah. This time. Oh. I don't. Okay. An attempt. <clears throat> Why left hand stances faster? It's because of the animation. Uh, usually, what we look for is having both hands, um, like having nothing in both hands, because there is an animation of storing the item. So if you have a weapon, if you have a, your bow or anything, your character will store the item um, before uh, opening the door. So what we usually have is double hand, left hand. So um, so it have like a faster animation. Drop. Amazon. Yeah. Um Okay, this time it will be everything will be okay. So in my PB that it's currently though um currently I have the, the word record for this category and in my PB I missed this lizard completely. And uh I was reacting to um to this run like months ago with one of my best friends, Ujo O'Hare, who is currently tied with my recce. And um, every, when I watched Missing the Lizard, I was like, dude, did I actually miss the lizard? And um, yeah, I did. And it's, it's a good time save for this one. It's, a, it's always a weird one to like look back at records and go, Really? I missed that? What? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, so about the the question in chat about the games, uh, speed, games that I speed ran. So if you look at my profile, you would see uh, Melty Blood type Lumina, but I only did one run to be part of the leaderboards. Um, other than Dark Souls 2, I do play uh, Fate Grand Order, the uh, the mobile game, and um, but uh, if I would do a speedrun, would be uh, the first game that I um, got interested in speedrun was Pokemon. I watched uh, I used, before the the like 2018, more or less. I watched the two ru runners, uh, G Maniac and Poke Guy. I was a big fan of both of, of those runners, and uh, I usually watch like their stream all day, and like, oh dude, Pokemon speedruns are so fun, but I have no idea how RNG and my nips and everything, like, I, I didn't know anything about the game. And when I was like, okay, I would do a speedrun, I was like, hmm, let me do a Pokemon Red speedrun. And I learned some manips 
but those things were super hard and i was like dude i cannot do it and uh after that i was like yeah i just played dark souls one two and three i enjoyed two more than the others oh dude oh yeah that's that's unlucky why not doing dark souls 2 speedruns then and um that's how i decided to start speedrunning dark souls 2. So NPCs have this crazy input reading, and that's why he's dodging the the second attack. Ah, <sighs> yeah, that's he's losing me a lot of time. Yeah, okay. This time it worked. I would do I would do this run as like a no reset, I guess. But yeah. So here is the Go Giants. Oh, I missed. Okay, no worries. I use three Dunk Pies and all my Fire Bombs to kill those dudes because they are like super strong for this part of the game. And as you can see, Fire Bombs does like 150 damage and Dunk Pies does like 50% of their health. So what will happen is I will use my fire bombs and then I will have to free fight with my hand axe. But um, I will use a healing because those dudes basically one shot me. Okay, and as, so as soon as I kill the first giant, I will quit out, and this will perform the giant glitch. Uh, giant glitch is basically um, you kill one, quit out, return, and you get the reward for killing both of giants. Do you really need to kill the invader? Yes, we actually do need to kill the invader because um, you need the souls uh, of this invasion, as well as you cannot quit out with the invader in, uh, in your map unless you do like Alt F4, which is super slow, or you do like uh, pre quit outs. But this would, um, but this way you would miss the the souls, and uh, we need those souls. <laughs> Is this live? Yes. So here I will be buying a uh, rapier or shards, upgrading my rapier. And I'm going to get the DLC one key. Yeah. Uh, basically, the, I need the souls to buy my uh, to buy the rapier and um, and the uh, um, shards, etc. And um, that's why we need that kill. <clears throat> Fade the other act one any percent when? Yeah, like I'm not gonna lie. After doing my first runs, I was like, yeah, dude, I'm, I'm a speedrunner. I can do whatever. And uh, and uh, since I played a lot of Fate Grand Order, I was like, yeah, dude, I, I play this game every single day. Why not doing a speed run of it? And for you guys that don't know, it's a gotcha game. And um, when you start the game, you have a, a, a fixed multi role that you get a four star character. And from like 15 characters, more or less, I I bet only one is speed run viable. And um, and the odds are not like it's the odds are super bad and that's why I probably will never speedrun Fake Run Order. <laughs> Even though if Yeah, I, I can't I can't mm -hmm. imagine doing runs of games like that where it's just like alright, uh you know, even if it's like uh the same odds for every roll, it's just like alright, I have a one in fifteen of doing a run. <laughs> yeah. It's out of my control. <laughs> Uh, I, I'm good. Yeah, so here I I threw a Luring School at Rosabeth, so the enemies could kill her with a poison. 
I don't know if I will get the kill, but um, if I do, it's uh, 1,500 extra souls. Doesn't look like that I got it, but uh, that's fine. I only need 10 um, build pines. Anyway. <clears throat> So here is basically one of another important hub of the game. Uh, here is where I go to end game and uh, where I go to like there are three parts out of this uh, bonfire. This shaded woods where I will be getting all the buffs. Uh, Algae keep where I, I need for story things and Rang Lake which is the end game. So yeah, I'm talking with this head and he sells gold pine resins and uh, if you know anything about Dark Souls speedruns at all, you would know that lightning is basically the most busted thing ever. So yeah. And now I'll be getting uh, RTSR, which is a ring that um, something something if you have low HP you get good amount of damage. I, I can't remember if it's like 30% of HP, 20% of damage. Somebody in chat may, uh, may know it, but I feel like it's 30% of HP, 20% of damage. And now I'll be fighting Rotten One. You may ask me why Rotten One? Wiki says you're correct. Thanks. Appreciate it. So Rotten One. Um, so why Rotten One? In this speedrun, uh, you have two ways to go to end game. One way is killing the poor lords, as the lore of Dark Souls says. Or you can have one million soul memory. There is a Dark Souls 2 mechanic, and you can enter the, the end game. And killing five of this boss is faster than going and kill all four lords. So that's why I'll be doing. Um, I, I'm calling this as Rotten One. Okay, Rotten One is now. <laughs> yeah. Um, okay. <clears throat> now I'm entering DLC 1. In DLC 1, we will gather um, some items. Uh, the most important one is called Flynn's Ring. And the other ones are Bright Bugs and Bonfire Ascetics. Bonfire Ascetic is this, this, this item, Bonfire Ascetic. It allows you to turn a bonfire region to New Game Plus. So I would use I will use those bonfire ascetics to change the rotten bonfire from New Game One all the way to New Game Plus Four, and and then and thus I will be killing rotten all five times and getting the souls. And the other items are bright bugs. Which uh, bright bugs were added in this uh, in the DLC one patch? Bright bugs are super busted. They are basically a buff that gives you thirty percent armor and twenty percent damage, I guess. So using those would will make the rottens um, a bit easier. Oh, I'm dead. Oh, I'm not. Yeah, okay. So here is DLC 1. You can ima you, you may imagine that everything will kill me one shot, and it will. Because I have 9 Vigor. You're running only Dark Souls 2? Yes. 
Dark Souls 2 is my main speed game and the only one that I that I practice like a huge amount of time. I would love to speedrun some other games, but um I don't know. I can't. I can't. I can't betray Dark Souls 2 this way. So uh, I will get my things ready for the next parts. You gave me some more for aesthetic this early and risky. Uh, yeah, exactly. <laughs> Risk it all, right? <laughs> Yeah, so here I'm picking up some useful items for later. And, um... Yeah. But there is only one thing that can happen since this is Scholar of the First Sin. In Scholar, uh, you may know that Dark Souls 2 have two releases. The first, what we call Vanilla, and the second one that we call Scholar, right? And, um... In Scholar of the First Sin, they added a super nice and incredible feature called Forlorn. Forlorn is an NPC invasion that can uh, invade you basically in every single map and uh, there is nothing that you can do about it. You may dodge the, the triggers, but this would be super slow. So what we do is we pray. And if he invades you, you cannot warp, so you would be... Whoop, okay. Uh, if you, if Farlorn invades me, I would need to use death warps. Death warps are slow because I'll be losing my souls, and uh, the, deaths, uh, the death cutscene is like 12 seconds long. So, yeah. No invasions, luckily. Oh, that was bad. Okay. Yeah, difficulty, difficult wise, I would say the game is, uh, they rebalance the game, but not in a good way. Vanilla is super hard, like super, quote unquote, super, super hard at late game. You have some uh, enemies in places that you're like, okay, you need to have, like kill them all or pray and run through. And, uh, and a scholar, those enemies are in the late and the early game instead of late game. They basically changed the 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 balance. Yeah, I would, I would not say added difficulty, but uh, they added forlorn, which is not good. <laughs> so here is Baldir. Baldir is basically an NPC that has the same issue as the previous one. Input reading. Thank God I got a clean cube. Nice. <laughs> yeah. This, this was the thing that I was most scared of missing. Ten percent? Nah. So, okay. About Forlorn. Uh, we don't have like, I can't, uh, I can't say like 100% sure because there is no much data about Forlorn. What I can say is that, um, what we believe is that Forlorn invasion is between 5 and 10%. And other thing that we know for sure is that the game knows uh, the area that you are going to. So, for example, you have like area 1, area 2 and area 3. So in area 1, it's 5%. And when you move to area 2, uh, the game knows that you are going to this area because of the pathing that you're taking. So the chances are like buffed. And, uh, this is... Ring and Majula. 
So basically, when I'm going through areas, the chances are getting higher of getting invaded. That's everything that I can say for sure. But I cannot say like, oh, uh, you can dodge by doing this or doing that. Uh, it's, I am not 100% sure about it. So this is the level up right before uh, the rotten farming. And now starts the the grind section. <clears throat> Become a butterfly in this run? Nah, we were not. But uh, uh, I, I guess I will finish this run as a no reset, as a warm up maybe, and uh, then I, I I can show you about the I can show you guys the butterfly that he's talking about. So now I'm getting poison, like I'm getting poison in purpose to get the buff from our TSR. With 14 vigor, two the two poison ticks are uh, enough to get to uh, get you to like low HP, which is basically our TSR range. That's not a good fight. Not playing very well right now. Okay. That was Rotten Tree going to Rotten Tree. And putting here really problematic. Yeah. True. So, about the butterfly set. Uh, currently, in the Dark Souls 2 community, there is a bounty uh, ro uh, hosted by a speedrunner called Bachista, and it's, uh, it's a bounty from another category of Dark Souls 2, and uh, basically use a, it's a category that abuses the butterfly set with a new glitch called Moon Jumps. Um, super nice run. I did some attempts, and uh, I'm the current record, record holder for this category, and... Um, uh, it's like a, it's kind of a, fr a fresh category. Soon it will become super bad to run it, but um, I'm having fun uh, running this uh, bounty category. Oh, brasileiro, sim. Oh, oh, dude, the point blank. Ah. Uh. Oh no. Oh yeah, that was bad. Let's see if I have the items to continue this run. <clears throat> mm, I do. Yeah, okay. So I, I would try to finish this one. This will be a hard fight because of no buffs. Okay, yeah, no worries, I will reset. Because my souls cannot continue. So, um, mm -hmm. like I said earlier, I'm not super familiar with this game. Um, I know you can get your stuff back on death. Is that everything or is it just some of your stuff? Um, you only lose your souls. Okay. But they were placed in a bad position, so... Yeah, no, totally understandable. I just, I, I wasn't sure what was lost on. Ah, uh, yeah. Let me take. Oh, uh, we're we're about forty minutes in. Do you want to take a quick break now, or do you want to mm -hmm. try another attempt? I would try some more. I just need to open my window. <laughs> okay. We don't know why. No problem. Close. Super hot in here. Okay. Time to another one. 
<laughs> I don't know if it was the poison or if it was like some uh, lingering hitbox, but yeah. Got punished. Oh, you were right, but she's, uh, yeah. Yeah. So, let me explain what happened. Since there was no cutscene, um, how can I explain it? During the cutscene, the poison, uh, the poison dot will not happen because you are in a cutscene. So, since I died once, there was no cutscene anymore. And I, um, yeah, I died because of no cutscene, basically. Okay. Interesting. Yeah. Yeah, at the start, same thing, go for 14, uh, 17k, and uh, hoping to land the trick. Yeah, exactly, the cutscene delays the poison. Definitely the first run, yeah, copium. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but I guess I'm 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 definitely warmed up warmed up right now. Which means which I hope that means that I will get a good run. The only thing that I hope that doesn't happen is missing 17 Ks. Third one was like one hour, yeah, same. Like, it was a good gap. Uh, run, uh, moving from any percent to old souls and then all bosses. Any percent I started with like one hour and something like 30 minutes. So, old souls, there was one hour and 15 minutes, where it was like nothing. But then moving to all bosses, that my first run was like four hours, was a huge, uh, was a huge gap. But um, currently, like, I feel like two hours of run is doable. Yes, dude, don't hate me. Perfect. What made you speedrun the best Dark Souls ever? I will tell you in just a second. Dude, I stemmed out and I missed it. Okay. Uh, what made me speedrun Dark Souls 2 was super simple. So I played all the, the games back to back, basically. Dark Souls 1, then Dark Souls 2, then Dark Souls 3. Um, what made me speedrun Dark Souls 2 was the fact that uh, Dark Souls 2 is the only one that have like a quote unquote challenge. If you guys don't know what I'm talking about is if you finish the game without dying, you receive uh, an item that makes your uh, weapon invisible. And if you finish the game without sitting at any bonfire, you get the ring for the other hands. So basically there is a challenge of no death, no bonfire. And um, <clears throat> that was my first stream, I guess. Dark Souls 2, no death, no bonfire, and uh, attempts. 
And uh, because there was this like challenge, like a post game or uh, replay value, I decided speedrunning Dark Souls 2. <laughs> yeah, fun fact, I never played Bloodborne. But not because I, I don't like it or anything, it's because I don't have a PS4. I have the... Fun fact, I have the game, but I don't have a PS4. Or what I, my friends call it, a Bloodborne machine. What was the reward for No Bonfire? So, I don't know certainly, but basically, like, doing No Bonfire gives you the ring that makes your left hand invisible, and No Death the, gives you the ring for the right hand. I'm not sure which one is which, like left or, or right hand, but, uh, one, but I'm sure that th that's the reward. You get gifted or what? No, it was on sale. It was on discount here uh, in a Brazilian store. So I uh, I grabbed it. Any other game? Yeah, that's the same what my friend said. And he even... And he, he actually said, if not by Persona, my PS4 would be an exclusive Bloodborne machine. I I actually didn't realize Bloodborne was PS4 exclusive. Yeah, I yeah I I mean I, I I could be wrong, but I guess you can play like the PS4 disc and PS5. But um, yeah, it's it's the same wall for me. It's having a a, a PlayStation yeah. and PS3 is a Demon Souls machine. True. It, is it invisible for PvP as well? It is. Okay, another 17k attempt. Please? No. <sighs> okay. Some PS4 games work on PS5. Yeah, what I what the only thing that I know is that uh, you cannot even even on PS5 you cannot play at 60 FPS. That's the only thing that I know. What? <laughs> Yeah, I, I believe so. You guys may uh, may correct me if I'm wrong, but I know that even on PS5, you can play at 60 FPS. I... That's, that's a rough sell. Yeah, like... I, someone in chat may confirm, but um, that's what I, I believe. Thirty FPS on PS5. At and, and okay, <laughs> I, I don't know what to say about that. Yeah. Okay, another run, another 17k attempt. Um, this glitch 17k. 
previously, like since your guy, I, I believe most of you weren't here when I uh, when I talked about 17k. It's a Frank Perfect glitch, so it's really common to miss. But the setup that I'm doing, it's called Lucida 17k. Due to uh, a speedrunner called Lucida, like getting this 17k in a strange way, and it's so much better than the previous one. We use, uh, I don't know if you guys know about uh pokemon speedruns at all but in gen 3 like fire fire firehead leafy green etc um uh, speedrunners use a metronome to heat uh a frame perfect pickup for starters and it was basically the same thing but in dark souls so you had like you had enemies like hitting you shooting you and you had to sit at the uh, at the bonfire on the perfect frame Currently, the setup is you do a jump, then you do, then you move in a in a line in a way that you have that you land the glitch. Oh, wrong item. Yeah, BB Bloodborne is the only one that I'm missing. Yeah, Demon Souls is a really great game. <laughs> I enjoyed playing it a lot. Unfortunately, I didn't uh, record my first playthrough, but I, I had lots of fun. Fire bomb. Oh. Bonfire. Bomb wall. Having my dark sign ready. Please? Ah. Okay, I will use a safe state here just to um, just to get in shape for this glitch again. I'm sorry, guys. Uh, it, it, these tricks are hard sometimes, you know. It, it's understandable. Uh, yeah. <clears throat> At least we don't need a metronome for this anymore. Yeah, dude, please. And you know what is the 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 trash part about metronome? Is like metronome the metronome was tied to my controller. So every time that I was moving my weapons, the metronome would start because like uh I would like uh oh. there there's two keys that I use like that I have no much use that is like up arrow and down arrow but at some point you need to use it so uh, you I would have like up as um uh the uh up was I guess uh reset for the metronome and down was to stop so one thing that I realized after months is that I could use like a keyboard key to just like disable the metronome at all so I was uh, I, I had to fight the I had to play the game and pay attention to the metronome to turn it off. Oh no! Yeah, that was a land. Okay, that was a good 17k. Time for another reset. What's restricted run? Hmm. I will actually show it. So, mm, let me see what I can what I can do for you. Um, let me see if I have a safe state. So, 
You know the how Persuade died? Um, I will explain everything in, in order, just a second. So first, why it's called restricted? Restricted means that I'm restricted to 60 FPS and I cannot do the butterfly uh, berry wall glitch. And you may ask me, oh, why does 60 FPS matter this much? So in 20 FPS, game physics get a little bit clunky. So this is 20 FPS. And one thing that you can do in 20 FPS is what I call remote bomb wall. So you can throw the fire bomb. Oh, uh, shit. Yeah, okay. So if I was lucky enough, I could land the, the bomb wall from distance. And that's what I call remote bomb wall. Another thing is that you can jump uh, through gaps. And... Um, and this is uh, like only possible in 20 FPS. Um, Pursuer died because when I jump uh, through across the gap, there is a, a ladder. Um, there is an event, a game event, that a bird comes flying with Pursuer. And if you drop from the, that place, I, I drop from that place to a uh, wooden bridge. If I drop on the exact, uh, exact perfect frame, the bird will drop Pursuer in a in a void close to his arena, but the game uh, reads this, uh, this drop zone as the boss arena, and the game counts as me killing Pursuer inside his arena, and thus it gives me the items and the soul. I hope that my explanation was, uh, was good enough. Yes, exactly. In means? Let me try it. So... <laughs> <laughs> the bird's people arrive and unfortunately it checked W's pursuer into the void and it gives me Woey some memes, 17k memes, and some people happy souls and people smash rings. I think the worst part about what you just said is that I understood it all. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's <really> <laughs> 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 you? I parsed everything you said. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> I have actually a really good explanation using memes. I'll take things you can't say at IRL for a thousand, Alex. <laughs> yeah. It's basically the, the the party dude meme, right? At the corner. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, I know how to explain 17k souls with memes. They just don't know it. They, just don't, they, just don't, they, they don't realize that I'm the world record holder for Dark Souls 2 speedruns. Just imagine like sitting at the dinner table and somebody is like, Can you explain 17 K souls to me? Dude, dude, okay. Okay, I, I will share I will share with you guys a story. So currently, um Um I'm in a relationship with a with a girl that I love so much. And uh, a friend of mine, one of my best friends, is the dude who like put us together and like I, we were playing Fall Guys, and he invited me to play Fall Guys with her, and etc. And like first thing, first thing in the call when I was meeting my currently my current uh, girlfriend is, you know that he is the Dark Souls shoe world record holder, right? And like I was like, dude, please, I will say that, dude. You can say everything but that. 
<laughs> but yeah, she's super supportive, and I love her so much. I've got it worked out, but yeah, that's just. Yeah, that was. That was a rough start for sure. Oh, dude. <clears throat> Another coping reset. Yeah, and uh, th this conversation was uh, was the the second part of basically, what is your favorite game, a uh, favorite Dark Souls game? And she she goes like, oh, it's Dark Souls Three. And my friend asks, what about Dark Souls Two? And she says like. What she basically as, uh, answered like, ah, what what everybody thinks it sucks, and he goes, yeah, you know that he's the Dark Souls shoe world record holder, <laughs> so it makes everything even funnier, dude. Yeah, that makes it even worse. It's not even like, oh, I love Dark Souls too. It's like, no, Dark Souls, or Dark Souls two sucks. <laughs> yeah, well, you're great at it. Please. <laughs> yeah, dude, I uh, I love how this went out, honestly. And it worked out, so I mean, I, I guess I can't fault them. <laughs> yeah. I, I just... <laughs> oh, dude, the scarred soul. <clears throat> Brasileiro, sim. Are you? Are you? Yes, dude. I am. I guess that that's that's a, a kind of question I have. Like, how how like how often do you have to deal with people just being like, "Yeah, this game sucks. Why do you play it?" or something like. like I feel like this is a very divided community in which game, yeah. like Dark Souls games are good and which are bad. Yeah. So, like, Dark Souls True is, in my opinion, you either love it or you hate it. But uh, it's it's. I don't know, dude. It's at first I thought it was like a syndrome. Like I played, I played so much of this game that now I can't like drop it. But uh, at the same time, is no, I have a lot of fun. The speed run, the speed run of Dark Souls Two is really good. Like speed run wise, this game is really really good. It's not like stressful. It's consistent in some way. It's <laughs> it's like it's. It's friendly for whoever like wants to start speedrunning. It's 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 super good. Like it's a good speedrun. But it's, it's not like a, it's not the community favorite game. But um, when I started speedrunning this game, I I had to. The, I feel like the question that I had to answer a lot was, "Why Dark Souls True? It's the worst one." And I'm like, dude, that's like all three are bad equally. It's just that I love this one a bit. Like, I love this one much better than the others. It's... that it. But I did play all three uh, Dark Souls. Oh, dude, another miss. <clears throat> The best fashion souls, definitely. 
we're at, we're at about an hour. Do you want to take a quick break just uh, before you? Uh, that way we don't have to like break during a real run. Um, it's like a needed break or anything. Yeah, we we oh. we try to take them every hour or so. Yeah. Okay, I would do another attempt. If I miss it, then we can do a, the break. That's fine. Right. Is that a, is that fine? Yeah, sure. Okay. Time to land the seventeen k and do the longest run of the day. <laughs> As the most well functioning dogs, definitely. The dogs are still bad, but compared to the other ones, is the game with the best functioning dogs. What does 17k means? It's a frame perfect glitch that I'm trying to land. Uh, 17k, why it's called 17k? It's because it's the amount of souls that Pursuer will give me. Incredibly, it's one of the few things that is not discovered by Distortion 2. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Discovered by Pseudo, yeah. 17k was discovered by Pseudo Stripey. One thing that I can say, say for sure is that Dark Souls 2 have one of the worst uh, covenant rewards ever. There are two rings that are locked behind uh, a covenant like achievement. There are two covenants, like invasion covenants, and you need to kill 1000 different players in order to get a ring. Ring of Thorns plus 2. And the other one I can remember the ring, but you need to like to 1,000 players in that covenant to get it. It's so bad. That sounds awful. Yeah, it's a different players. It's not like different invasions. It, it's players. So if you cannot kill this, you cannot spend 1,000 kills in, in your friend. You need. It needs to be like different. That's that sounds so rough. <laughs> Uh, yeah, that, that just sounds very unpleasant. Yeah. Okay. Please? Oh, come on. Yeah, okay. Let's do the, the break. Alright. Uh, yep, so we're just going to take a quick break, everybody, just to give everybody some time to get up, stretch, get some water, anything like that. Uh, just a quick reminder before we do go to that break, uh, the SGDQ 2023 schedule is out now. You can go to gamesdonquick.com for more information, or you can use exclamation SGDQ in chat. Uh, with that said, we'll be back in just a few minutes after a break. Hello, everybody, and welcome back to the Games Done Quick Hotfix. This 
This is PB Precipice. We are here with Dark Souls 2, Scholar of the First Sin, and we've got Nick here. Uh, whenever you're ready. Yes, let's resume the PB attempt. <clears throat> got my cup of coffee, got my water, ready for some more action. Bora, bora. Thanks for the good luck. Appreciate it. I'll be doing my best for sure. I will hit the. I'll get this glitch now. First try every time, right? Yeah, exactly. Let's go, dude. Hell yeah. Finally. <laughs> Not even shaking. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> okay. Get me out of here. <laughs> Let me do a run. <laughs> Valeu, Shimo. Chances of P being Oh 
I would say it's high. It's been a... Okay, I need to think about it. Okay, it's been a year since I played this category and I'm much better than I than I was one year ago. So I would say that the chances are high. Yeah, the Brazilian jersey. <clears throat> Coming in clutch. Dude, I think it's so funny how there is literally a game called Dunk Pie in the game. What? Yeah. <laughs> the poop that I throw at the, the, the giants that causes poison, it's called Dunk Pie. It's <laughs> hilarious. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Okay, fire bomb. All those burn. That's still ready. Drink Estus. Presentation, please fall. Drop. Please, a drop. A drop? Let's go, dude! Saving a lot of time. Hey. Yeah, that was super good. Some 3D action. Nice quit out. Saving a good chunk of time here, guys. I got That's... the. Mm -hmm. Go for it. You got. You got. Yeah, I got a faster invasion queue. I got a fast giant queue. <clears throat> Bold splits are what we like to see here. Yeah. <clears throat> okay, so... Yeah, uh, and I, no I did not even did jab jump, which it would save like 8 seconds, more or less. Okay, let's go. Mm -hmm. 
I picked up the, the bones. Dude, I could save a lot of time in this split. I'm so sorry. English is not my first language. I'm doing my best. I'm sorry that uh, if my explanation is not the best. I think your explanations have been pretty well. It's just this run has been very hyped, so you haven't really been explaining the things that you've already explained for the past, you know, hour and a half. So. Mm, I see. Yeah. I just hope I've that I've understood I... what you've been saying. Like I've understood all your explanations, and I don't even play this game, so. <laughs> I even understood the meme explanation. <laughs> Do I get the cue? Oh, I don't think so. Thanks, guys. Appreciate it. Okay. Yeah. Oh, I got the kill. Which means that nice. I that I have an extra gold pine resin to use in a boss fight. Okay, uh, since I didn't explain this the, the, the past time, I'm shooting this tree because in this uh, foggy area there are lots of, of phantoms and they are uh, sensible to sound. So shooting the tree makes uh, the tree goes like burping or something. And um, this will aggro all the phantoms and I can uh, buy the items without any uh, issue. Okay, so you're luring them away from where you need to go. Yes, exactly. <clears throat> okay. Thanks God I'm not having the overhead. There's an attack that it's super hard to dodge in this fire zone. Was okay ish. So, since I have since I don't have the 14 vigor, I cannot do the poison trick, and because of that, I I have a I'm fighting in a bad position because I need uh, to take fire damage, and uh, and this is this basically causes 
I need to be a little bit uh, cautious in my friend and my fight because uh, every other single category that fights Rotten uses the same setup. This Rotten one is the only one Rotten fight that uses the fire setup, and this is a little bit scary. Yeah, about keyboard and mouse in Dark Souls Shu. Sure. Um, keyboard and mouse alone is actually faster than controller. This is because uh, controller have input delay during menus and mouse doesn't have it. So if you want to be like optimal 1000% fast threats, you should use uh, mouse, keyboard and mouse for uh, most of NPC menu. And this category, since you don't do much of menuing, uh, I don't see uh, a major reason why. But in all bosses that you do like minutes of menuing, it makes a huge difference. Uh, when I'm comparing against the current all bosses record holder, I'm losing like five to 10 seconds in the huge menu segment, which is a lot. Some people may argue that uh, because you hold W and you and you, you you could use a low sensitive mouse to have like a perfect pathing. That's actually true, but I, I don't see that this saving like a lot of time. It it does save time, but not like as much as what people think. Counterintuitive, yes. And no jokes, uh but uh some runners do play Osu or uh, for practice, practice the menu in Dark Souls 2. <laughs> yeah, because of the like precise pointing and clicking and etc. If it works, it works. Yeah. Okay, DLC one. So I mentioned earlier about this ring that I'm just getting. It's the Flynn's ring. Flynn's ring is a broken item in this game. It gives you like 50 AR just for wearing it if you have a vitality level under 14. Which is basically means like if you are r naked running around, you do a lot of damage, like 20% more or less, which is super good. So, it's a busted item. Why not abuse it? My favorite ring in the game. Oh! Oh, I got stuck. I was the ghosts. Please let me work. I misplayed. But not punished, thanks. Thank God. <laughs> I got nervous for a second there. <laughs> yeah. I messed up. I got stuck, which is like which was not my fault entirely, but I did a jump and that was my fault. But uh I was not punished, thank god. Okay. So because I, I got extra bones, I, I, if I miss this Baldir, I can do a backup strat, which loses some time, but uh, I guess it's okay. So I'll try to explain what I'll be doing with this invasion. I will I'll be using the soul, and this will cause the AI of the invasion to throw uh, a talisman at me. And I will use the talisman animation to push the invasion out of the out of the bridge. Oh. 
Oh, dude. Please. Okay. Time for the backup. So here he did uh, the most famous input reading in any percent. And uh, I have to drop down. So he returned to the reward. And I will be using the homeward bone to work back to that bonfire. And this does lose us some time. But um, yeah, better than resetting, I guess. <clears throat> okay. Here I'm picking up bright bugs and ascetics. Eating the Baldir time loss. And now I'll be buying some another items. I'll be buying the Cestus, then Life Gens, Bright Bugs, getting the ring, and going through the second, first, second, first level up. Which I get for it in vigor and the rest of endurance. Warping. Okay. And now it's the rotten farm. Fire ascetic. I need to the Super Serpent Ring. Oh, headshot. Oh, lovely. Okay, Rotten Chew, let's go. With Rotten Tree is dead, moving through Rotten Tree. Now I need to use a bright bug and a GPR. No, dude! Oh. Okay, I will continue the run just for the sake of finishing a run, but this run is the PB is impossible in this one. Oh, that was rough. Again at the same rotten, dude. That is unfortunate. Yeah, that was.
Yeah, and you should be careful because now that I have no buffs, basically every attack of this Rotten will, would kill me. Even in full HP. That's why we use RTSR. It doesn't matter if like he hits you or not. You would be dead anyway. That's rough. Yeah. I was in a bad position and I, I couldn't I could I could not dodge the grab like the way that I am supposed to had to do the yeah. the cross. Okay. Rotten tree is down. Nah, it's okay guys. Oh, we still have time. Reki is basically dead at this point, but I, I I will show you guys a complete run. Welcome, Raiders. is down. Now it's time for Rotten 5. Rotten 5 is scary for sure because, as I mentioned, it's basically the, the boss in New Game Plus 4 and I have no stats. Yes, he does to hit me, like if I'm po point blank and he does uh, an attack, it will hit me. Oh, this is good attacks. And five is down. Moving to Majula and the final level up. So I will do my best to explain the run with much details now, since the Reiki is probably dead. But uh, so now you may realize that I'm still wearing, a, I'm still holding a plus four rapier, but I have the final level up. This is because this rapier will not be the final weapon of this run. Even though I'm, I'm strong because of uh, rings, uh, I will drop this rapier um, soon. But now it's the final level. For this build, uh, we have what people call, call quality build, which is 40 strength, 4 dexterity, 40, and uh, 52 endurance. ADP is just for copium reasons, because you could finish the game with 380p and nothing to worry about. But now we are moving to the second zone of the game, uh, Drain Lake. So true Shaded Woods, because we have 1 million soul memory. Uh, soul memory is the top right number. We have 1 million something something souls in soul memory. We are strong enough 
for a game mechanic that allow us to open the Shrine of Winter. Uh, usually the Shrine of Winter would be pos only possible to be opened if you have killed all four lords. But since we have one million, uh, the game allow us to, um, to traverse it, to open by hand. Uh, okay, I didn't change the rings. Okay, right ring. Uh, okay. Uh, That was a mechan this mechanic of the one million so memory was mentioned in an interview, and the reason why is this mechanic is basically like uh, they uh, they they said something uh, uh, close to these lines. We we didn't want the player to be to get lost and like hard stuck in the game, so we did this in like a backup way, so the player can finish the game without killing everything. And um, it's it's super cool. It's actually super cool. They did it. And who would have thought that it would be fast, faster to have one million soul memories than to kill all four boss, all four main bosses? What was the reason? Dude, those enemies have a tracking, like they predict the future and dude, whatever, they calculate where you will be. So, um, what, what's the reason for leveling up your vigor again? That turns off the ring? Oh, uh, so the, the DLC ring is vitality, not vigor. So I'm fine, like currently fine. 18 vigor is, I need those vigor because of uh, a late boss fight and the jump that I'll be doing. <clears throat> okay, so now I'm inside the Drang Lake Castle, and uh, here is where the final boss lives, but uh, we cannot kill him right now, and uh, but I'll be getting the bonfire that we will, that we will teleport later. Okay. Dope. The game was planned for. Oh, that was that was a really good fact. Yeah, all that I know is that the game was released first for PS3 and Xbox 360, and in both games it ran like 23 FPS. Was super bad. Twenty-three. Yeah, if you there there are videos on YouTube. And you like if you search for it, you will see the game runs like like a dunk pie. That's bad. Yeah, that's terrible, right? That... And that's where we got the number for uh, unrestricted, basically. Like, oh, the game was originally in 23 FPS? Okay, you are allowed to, to drop your FPS. <laughs> that was the main argument. Like, that was how the game was intended. Okay, so yeah. this this boss was like, just a, a feature, the dragon riders that, had, that don't ride dragons. Yeah, that video from Ilizari Wall is really good. I do recommend everybody to watch. It's it's so cool to like I every time that I watched like uh beta stuff from Dark Souls 2, 
I get myself hyped because time travel is my favorite like fiction thing. And no, dude, why did you kill me? You were not supposed to, but that's okay. I got the bonfire. I'll, f I'll finish this run no matter what, so it doesn't matter. Uh, so time travel is my favorite fiction topic, and uh, knowing that Dark Souls 2 would be suppo was supposed to be a time travel related game was super hype. Like, dude, Dark Souls 2 with time travel, and uh, knowing that the game is like, as mentioned in chat, the game wasn't finished the way it was supposed to be. It's it's actually true if you think about it, like. Some some areas are follow-ups for things that makes no sense. For example, Iron Kip is a lava arena that it's followed by an elevator from a poison thing that's like the the thing is it doesn't connect at all. Oh dude. Okay. So here is basically a puzzle. Uh, the giant statue needs a soul to activate, and it activates the the elevator for um... I need that elevator to get a key to move to the next boss, basically. <laughs> but um, yeah, those mannequins, the enemy that I just killed. They are known for having like a really atrocious hitbox and a really scuffed um, combo. Bloodborne developed, yeah. But uh, honestly, like if after playing other games, like after playing other games recently, I realize like from software games, I, I realize that Dark Souls 2 is not as bad as people think. Like if you look up, feel, really think about it, it has the same formula as Demon Souls instead of Dark Souls 1. And uh, like life gens, you can compare those to the, the plants that you use for healing in the Demon Souls. There's a, there are a lot of things that you can compare can both games that are super similar. I feel, I, the feeling that I have is, like, this is not confirmed, I'm talking like what I feel playing both games, is that um, Tony Muda was more inspired by Demon Souls than Dark Souls 1. Okay, now the next boss fight is the Mirror Knight. Yeah, there is a lot of Dark Souls shoe in Elden Ring as well. Because Tenu, I feel, uh, yeah, it is it is a thing that Tenimura uh, was part of the Elden Ring thing. So this boss fight is a thing and I will tell everything about it in just... Okay, counter. Please, go Say, say. Okay, that was Mihir Knight. So about Mihir Knight, what I can say about Mihir Knight. Mihir Knight is a PvP boss. Um, which means that if you are like you can use the head cracker IR to invade a player that is fighting Mihir Knight. The only sad part about it is that Mihir Knight only summons a player when he is like below 50% HP, which is super trash because um, it takes a lot of damage when is summoning a player, so you have like low action in this fight. But uh, I never managed to invade anybody, but uh, if you search on YouTube, you can find videos of people getting invaded or uh, doing invasions. And it's super cool, dude. I, I can only imagine um, 
like being the playing this game during the release and invading people in this fight. Sounds super that dope. Pretty cool, yeah. Yeah, and like, I hope you guys know, like, uh, I'm. It's a joke that we have. Uh, in uh, in challenges, you usually see the invasion because, like, in challenges, we usually cap damage, cap HP, cap everything. So you do no damage, which makes enough time for the Mihir Knight to summon an NPC. So we joke about like, oh, he's summoning distortion too, because the the NPC that he summons is super busted, have super speed, super damage, super everything, and like. We call like we call the, like the summon as oh the mirror knight is summoning distortion to to get you. It's it's uh, it's a fun joke. I hope like some people get it. <laughs> so, fun thing about Shrine of Amana, the current pathing for Scholar of the First Sin was developed by me after watching uh after dying here a lot of times and there is a meme called Brazilian Amana that is dying at the like right right at the, the end of Trend of Amana and I was so frustrated that I developed a path for Trend of Amana and it's the path that all runners do in current scholar runs so like of course it's not 100% there are there is still risk but uh Let me focus a bit. Okay. So, yeah. Not hitless, but... A safe cross. I've removed this ring because I'm afraid of losing it. And I need red looks. Okay, now my ring back. I need RTSR, so I will tank some hits. One, two, that's enough. left side because the mage invasion can shoot you and this is frog oh that's that was a really good He's down. Let's go. I don't know what I was expecting of that frog boss, but what it turned into was not what I was expecting. <laughs> yeah. And a fun fact, uh, when you enter Shrine of Amana, you start listening to a song, like a... Like a, a voice singing, and it's from Demon of Song. Okay, I need to drop stuff. Okay. Um, four. I have four gold pine resins. I will use one, two, three, four. Yeah, exactly. I have the right amount. And three bones, which is also the right amount. Mm, okay, so that was the final... Uh, that, that was the last time that uh, I, fought, I fought a boss with Rapier. Now I will change to the best and super not Kingdom Hearts inspired Key of the Embedded. Oh, not the greatest. Dude! So I need an RNG to go through those dudes and that like multi attack is the only RNG that I cannot pass. I need to pay attention here. Okay, no lightning attack. Dope. 
Human, do not be disliked. Okay. Nice puzzle. Let me through. Breaking some rocks. Yeah, this puzzle-like area is it's fine. It's my favorite place, I would say. In Dark Souls 2. Okay. So here is uh, this play uh, earlier. I mentioned about the difference between Scholar and Vanilla. Here is one of the major ones. In Scholar, there is a Dragon Rider, and in Vanilla, there is like a ton of Cyanites. And because of the Cyanites, you need to do like a 360 no scope to go through them. And here is how strong this key is. No follow-up, that's unlucky. Yeah, nice weapon. <laughs> Dude, I, I always think it's so funny how like a key item that is like a weapon is so strong. <laughs> It's maybe they weren't, uh, yeah, I don't know, that's, it's weird for it to be that strong, yeah. Yeah, definitely. It has a stats of a plus 10 weapon, like, uh, so, Rapier is known for being busted because it have one, uh, 140 counter, uh, something, something counter, like, it does 140 counter value. Uh, this key is 150, so the key is strong. Is counter counterwise is stronger than rapier. <laughs> the only thing that it, it loses is, I guess, it loses a bit in DPS because the key attacks are super slow. But other than that, is like okay, like it's the damage is super good. The stats, the scaling, everything is okay in this key. Dude, please hit me. Dude, please hit me. Dude, please hit me. Okay, that's enough. Oh. Close call. Okay, this area is audio skip. Um, audio is a dude that... Uh, that in this game made some like he morphed creatures into another creatures and uh, he do love dragons as you can see and uh, there is a lot of mystery in this area I don't know the lore like on dot but uh, I know some parts of it and uh, since the the kingdom in the past fought some giants you you may imagine what he uses as a, a base of his experiments. <clears throat> so next fight is Guardian Dragon. It's I, I every like the boss isn't a dragon. I know there are like some dragon fans that will tell, oh, it's a wyvern or it's a dragonet or something. And uh, yeah, but it's called Guardian Dragon, and uh, it's a it's a cool fight to do with the key. One of the reasons why key is so good in this category. There is also a ten percent of insta fly, which is super bad for me. Insta fly, dude! Come on. Oh, fly again, dude, what? Please don't kill me. Yeah, that was super unlucky. Oh, 
Oh my god, I have one HP. Yeah, time for healing. One HP is better than no HP. Yes. Yeah, dude. Dude, what is that, dude? What is happening with this dragon? Okay, he's dead, yeah. <laughs> Moving on. He got mad that I was talking about dragons for sure. I mentioned giants and he got super salty. Yeah, I will use some souls because I can have a I can use as a backup. He knew, <laughs> yeah, he knew, he was aware of it. I spoke it too soon, he knew everything about it. Yeah, I'll get this bonfire just as a backup. And now I am at the Dragon ID slash Dragon Shrine, which is basically the the last new area that we will see for this run. Dragon Shrine. So here there is a really, really, really good tech. Or like, oh, it's called, it's a game, it's um gimmick. So those dragons do love fighting and respect and honor so you have those giant soldiers and uh, they are basically waiting for me to fight the the soldier and be like and have honor for my fights otherwise they follow you and try to to kill you so i don't have time to fight those soldiers i will be passing through And of course, the, the final challenge is a, a Dragon Soldier busted with all the buffs and super strong stats that I can be bothered. And this corridor is where a lots, of, lots of runs die. But uh, thanks to a no-hit runner called Ben Pigeon, uh, he told me about the strat that you can go running in this corridor, blocking, and this will aggro the guard break from the soldiers, which saves uh, a lot of runs. Let me get ready. Um, yes. Okay, so now it's the Giant Lord. The uh, Giant Lord is a fight in the, in the memory, or I would say in the past. Okay, that's everything that I need. And I'll be performing the Giant Lord jump. Which is a speedrun skip. Yeah, this saves a good chunk of time. The feather, aged feather, yeah, it's a really hype item. Okay, so now there is a good meme called Paper Bowl. Um, you guys will see that I will be using this bright bug uh, behind a, a wall. And because of like hardware thing, the Giant Lord can Giant Lord hit can go through the wall, and that's what we call paper wall. But fortunately, it didn't happen. Two psycho, super good fight. And now I'll be going 
uh, I'm, I'm moving through the final fights of the game. It's Drone Duo and Nashendra. Luckily, I have 12 life gems. I would do pre-buffs, I guess. Yes, I will. I'm taking some damage in a way uh, because I want to use a, I want to use a life gen at the start of the fight, and life gen in this game stops healing you as soon as you hit 100% HP. So if the life gen duration is 60 seconds and you use it at 99% HP, it will the effect will cut as soon as you hit 100%. That's why I'm taking like a fall damage before entering the fight. In this way, I would take some hits during the opening and I will keep healing. Linda Camisa, muito obrigado. <clears throat> Let's go, guys. This is the final fight. It was scary. That was super scary. Okay, he's down. Let's watch your time. Down as well. Okay, and now it's time for Nashendra. I would try RTSR in Nashendra, I guess. No, it's not RTSR. Oh. Oh, that was super spoopy. But yeah, it's done. On black screen, the time stops, and yeah, that was a complete run. GG's, I know it's, uh, you know, it was a no reset run on this one, just yeah. one done, but, you know, it gets a little bit of practice in. Yep, yep. That was fine. That was like, if I uh, just watching the timer, I can see that I have a lot of time saved on the early game. I have some time to save on Rotten's. I just needed like a, a really good RNG. Uh, what makes me a little bit worried is that I didn't save time in the mana slash Velstad. But um, I saved some time in Giant Lord. I know that I can save some time in Ancient Dragon. And uh, this final fight, I do have a lot of time to save. And gold as well. You who bear the curse. But yeah. Uh, you mentioned that we have like another. Uh, we need to take another break, right? And all of this yeah. Play out Wanna do it now? now and like? Yeah, yeah, we can do that now. Yeah, okay. It is your choice. All right, everybody, we're just gonna take a quick break uh, between the runs here, just so everyone can get up, get some water, anything they need to do between runs here. Uh, just a quick reminder: uh, your subs, Prime Gaming subs, gift subs, and bitch cheered on the GDQ Twitch channel do help support the. Uh, the hotfix shows so if you like pb precipice watching these uh pb slash world record attempts if you like any of our other daily content going places yesterday uh, we've got awfully silly and out of bounds tomorrow any of that kind of stuff it does really help us put on this kind of content uh, with that said we'll be back in just a few minutes for more attempts Hello everybody and welcome back to the Games Done Quick Hot Fix. This is PB Precipice. We've got Dark Souls 2, Scholar of the First Sin. We've got Nick here, ready to do some more PB attempts. Whenever you're ready. Let's go. More attempts. <laughs> I 
How are you feeling after that uh, that completed run? I'm feeling great about it. Like, give uh, uh, feeling more confident. It was a great boost. Love to hear it. I I have faith. This is the one. Yeah. <clears throat> I love how this. I didn't manage to get kite so first try once. So annoying. Is it just like a really finicky angle? Yeah, it's basically it. So you were not supposed to get this souls. Like uh, your character have a stable position in like an imaginary position and before hitting the, the card your imaginary position is right at the, uh, right at the, the item so for a split second you can pick it up okay You can you can option for you can opt for break the card, but it's low. It's like three hits. And that's probably like what eight or nine tries of trying to just walk into it. <clears throat> Yeah, would be like compared to a lot, like six, seven tries. Usually, if you don't get first try, you get on second most of the time. Yeah. So it's incredibly not worth it to go for the yeah. uh, hitting it. Yeah, completely not worth it. Eesh. Thanks for the good luck. Appreciate it. Oh. Seventeen K attempts, let's go. Uh rough start. Unfortunate. Yeah. Okay.
please. Yeah, dude, I hope that I get another run going, at least. Thinking about it. There's a lot in this run. Always being positive. I have it. I think you've got this. This is... This is your game, you've got this. Anybody who can explain 17k in memes <laughs> knows what they're doing. Yeah, I'll do a quick, uh, I'll restart my game real quick. Hey, Rec Netflix. How's it going, buddy? Yeah, 17k is a, a frame perfect glitch that uh, basically give me the the soul of pursuer as if I killed him in the boss arena. Thanks, Rack. Appreciate it, buddy.
<laughs> yeah, for sure. Okay, another attempt. Ugh. Yes, let's go. Let's go. A run going. Looks like we have a little bit of confusion about what just happened. When you have a chance, do you want to re-explain it? Yeah, so basically what happened is I I jumped through the gap, um, and this uh, is the this triggers a game event that... Um, just a second, I need to do a, a lizard killing. Okay, so jumping through the gap makes... Uh, it starts a game event that is a bird flying with Pursuer. Pursuer is a boss in this game. And um, the bird uh, carries Pursuer doing like a go around and drop Pursuers in, a, in the plateau so you can early fight Pursuer. So what I just did is I unload the zone where the bird is flying. So he basically drops Pursuer uh, in a void next to his uh, arena. And this causes the game to understand that I killed Pursuer in his arena, which gives me the, the, the reward, the Ring of Blades, the item so of Pursuer. And because, uh, uh, and because he died close to his arena, I also gained 17k souls. And that's why the glitch is called 17k. There are variants of this glitch, just called Quick Kill. If you jump through the platform and go sit at the bonfire super fast, you kill, also kill Pursuer like, by dropping at the Void, but since he is far from his arena, you only gain the Ring of Blades and the Soul of Pursuer. You don't gain 17k souls. Oh dude, wait, my inventory is a mess. Okay, fine out. <clears throat> I need fire bombs. That's this. Please fall. Please fall. Please fall. Yes. Yes. Let's go, dude. Another fall. Two pretty nice tricks in a row. That's a good start. Good start. Yeah, that's a really good one. Oh, no. I, I went too far.
cannot believe, dude. Oh, no. Oh, that was rough. That was super rough. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, do you have time for another one, or...? Should we call it? Uh, yeah, you can. Yeah, you can give another attempt. Yeah. Okay. Oh, that's a super rough dude. Yeah, it may happen, but that was so, so trash. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> so, so sad right now. That was very, you were doing very well. I have faith. Yeah. Back to backs. Okay, first strike card sold, finally. That giant dude. I guess like there are there is there are four or five hit attacks and uh, there is only one that hits in that place so that like the the position that I was that was so unlucky. Uh, rip. Unfortunate. <laughs> yeah, it happens. You did get one in, though. Yeah, yeah. It was it was a pretty good run, considering. I know it wasn't what you were looking for, but yeah, uh, but it was a good run. It it is always good to be uh, to showcase a complete run.
hopefully that gives you a little bit of practice for you to be able to uh, take it on in your own stream. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Uh, do you have anything you want to talk about? Any shout outs or anything like that? Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, first, I want to send a shout out to the, the Dark Souls true, uh, group, uh, the Sten Army. And a uh, shout out to Speedso as well. And uh, I want to make an invite. If you want to start speedrunning Dark Souls, Dark Souls 2, Dark Souls 3, or well, from software or whatever, uh, check out for the Speedso's Discord server. Uh, the community is super welcome. And um, some, uh, for sure, somebody will help you. And uh, currently, uh, there is a bounty for Dark Souls 2. If you are interested, it's uh, Dark Souls 2, any percent. Uh, vanilla any percent current patch unrestricted it's i would try to show you the glitch but um uh real fast real quick and i want to send a shout out to uh my girlfriend as well she's super supportive she she's in chat and uh um uh, and means a lot to have the support and um yeah i want to also thank for the the time for the chance of doing uh, participating the the, the P PB press supplies. and um, yeah, that's basically it. I just want to show the glitch real quick. Yeah, absolutely, good. Yeah, it's a glitch that uh, we decided calling it the moon jump, and uh, the glitch goes like this. So. You have you need the butterfly moon skirt, and you need to jump and equip at the same time, and then you do a super long jump, and this allowed runners to do like skips out of bounds and etc. There was there is also another glitch in Dark Souls shoe the in current patch that it's called uh, the parry walk. Let me see if there is an enemy that I can show it to you. Mm. Yeah, I'll aggro this dude and show you. Very well. I so basically, you need to parry the enemy. Okay. You need to parry, then jump and attack at the same frame. Oh. Parry. I missed. Mm, let's see if I can show you guys perfectly. Barry. Oh. Hey. How dare you? Mm, let me get a better enemy. Show you. Yeah, uh, I'm trying to show you. Uh, I will quickly show the, the current patch glitches. At least. Um, yeah, there's bonfire. <clears throat> with this enemy come on buddy okay yeah very Oh, dude. <clears throat> okay, yeah. So you, I jumped and attacked at the same time. Now I'm flying for thirty seconds. That's the what we call parry wall. And uh, you can uh, combo both glitches, like jumping and uh, like this fly and the moon jump, to skip uh, to skip most of the game. And um, it's a super fun category. Soon it will be. <laughs> super terrible to run but some cool things that you can do with this uh this new glitch is uh quickly skip the the general jump so you basically do a moon jump to towards this uh this rocks and you are out of bounds and you can just drop and you are at the gen lord that's some cool things that are in the run so if you want to see it i will be grinding this bounty in the, ne in the next days <laughs> Awesome. Uh, and uh, let me grab the. I have your Twitch right here. I can link for anybody who's interested. There you go.
you can follow Nick here. Uh, catch him doing, uh, you know, EB attempts and uh, grinding down runs in the, the future here. Yep. Uh, thank you so much for being on. Uh, this has been awesome. Uh, I know it wasn't exactly what you were looking for, but you did some good runs. Uh, I learned a lot, uh, and you, it looked really cool. This run looks really awesome. Yeah, thank you so much for uh, for, for having me. Uh, yeah, it was unfortunate to not get a PB, but it happens, right? It's it's super hard to PB, and uh, yeah. I did my best at the end, but uh, unfortunately, didn't manage. Hopefully, you're able to get it in the next uh, you know few days or weeks here. Yeah, thank you so much. Thank you for being on and uh, showcasing the game. It was awesome. Uh, with that said, uh, that's all the time we have today, unfortunately. Uh, we do have more shows coming up tomorrow, so if you tune in tomorrow at 7 p.m. Eastern, we'll have Awfully Silly followed by Out of Bounds. That's all 7 p.m. Eastern. If you wouldn't mind just sticking around for a few minutes while we look for a raid target, that would be awesome. We'll uh, raid them and uh, share some speedrunning spirit. Have a great day, everyone. Yep.